So today we're going to talk about a few different uses of Airtable Sync so that you can pull in data from sources like Salesforce or Google Sheets directly into your Airtable base. And you can even sync data from one Airtable base to another. We'll then talk about the limitations of Airtable Sync and other ways you can move data around between your bases. To start using Airtable's native sync feature, you're going to come to your Airtable base and click on this Add or Import button. Normally, we click Start from Scratch to create a new table, but as you've probably noticed, there are a list of options, basically sources that you can sync data from. Now, depending on which one of these you choose, you'll either activate Airtable's importer feature or their Airtable sync feature. So let's start with an import just to show you sort of the basics here. So if we grab Google Sheets and choose that, it will ask us to pick an account to sync from and a specific sheet. So I'm going to sync in this waitlist request. You can have it choose which table you want to sync it into, into something that's existing, or for simplicity, let's just have it create a new table here and import. And in a matter of seconds, you've got records from this Google Sheet, which I'll show you over here, that have synced instantly into your Airtable base. Now, this is an example of a one-time sync, aka an import. And again, really useful for these sort of simple types of, of things. You have some data here, you want to bring it to the Airtable, boom, you're dead. Now, for something a little bit more powerful, let's talk about Airtable sync specifically. So if we click on that add button again, and this time from our sources, let's grab Google Drive. This time when we connect to it, it's going to ask us to select a drive. And here I'm going to grab an asset folder and click next. This time when I create this sync, it is actually using Airtable sync feature. And the way you'll know that is that these fields that have been synced by Airtable will have this little lightning bolt icon that explicitly says that they've been synced. And so now, unlike this other uh, table, which was a one-time import, these synced fields are constantly kept up to date. So if I go into Google Drive and we open up one of these folders, it will update the data in these fields. So hopefully you find that pretty cool. Now, the next thing you can do is edit that. So if you want to come in to your uh, sync configuration here, you can update it. You can change things like when this syncs. Do you want it to only sync when requested on a manual decision of I want to click and sync? Do you want to have it up automatically or just totally cut it off from syncing? All of that's controllable. Um, and again, what's super, super nice here is that this is all out of the box, easy to use, Data is flowing from your sources into Airtable. One other use of Airtable Sync that you can start to take advantage of is actually not only syncing data from other apps into Airtable, but syncing data between two different Airtable bases. So again, let's click on that Add button. And this time, instead of choosing a third-party source, let's choose Airtable Base. And here, it's going to give you access to the other bases in your workspace. You can pick one that you want with a syncable view, hit Next. And let's again create this table. What you'll see instantly appear are those little lightning bolts showing that this data is synced. And now, once again, anytime I make an update in that synced table, it will update here. So let's take a look at that in action. I've pulled up a split view here with my sync table, table vibe. If I take this first one, Berlin, and change it to updated, if we come back over to our synced table, and hit sync now, this will come on over. So that's a great example of Airtable Sync and how you can use it to sync one Airtable base to another. Now, as great as Airtable Sync is, it does have its limitations, so let's talk about them. So limitation number one is that Airtable Sync is, for the most part, only one way. Now, they are rolling out two-way sync to certain Airtable plans, and that is possible to use in certain scenarios, but for the most part today, it is really only a viable solution if you want to pull data from other places into Airtable. Limitation number two is that Airtable Sync only operates on a table by table basis. So here, as I kind of showed, I pulled in one table's worth of data from Google Sheet, but imagine I had multiple sheets here. Or in another use case, imagine I was importing data from Salesforce, right? These are tools that have more than one data table. And to do that, you'll need to set up multiple syncs one at a time, as opposed to setting up one sync that handles all of the tables that are associated with your connected app. Limitation number three is the number of connectors that Airtable Sync has. So if we go and click that button again, you'll see there are a little bit under 30 sources 
And again, some of them are limited to different plans like business or enterprise. So depending on what you want to sync into Airtable, you may or may not be able to use Airtable sync feature to accomplish that. And finally, limitation number four, Airtable sync happens on a batch interval. So if you come over to update sync configuration, you'll see that automatic syncing happens at quote unquote regular intervals. What that means is that Airtable will check every once in a while and see if there are any updates. If they are, it will sync them. This is in direct comparison to something like real time sync or instant updates, where anytime data changes in your app, it would sync instantly. And again, other tools like whale sync do handle things like this. Um, and depending on your use case, it may or may not be important. That's your intro to Airtable Sync, a quick and easy way to pull data into your Airtable tables automatically. In the next few lessons, we'll talk about more advanced Airtable syncing like two-way sync in real time and how you can do that with third-party tools like Whale Sync and others.